a single-celled organism has a relatively large surface area to volume ratio. This simple diagram represents a single-celled organism. This has a large surface area to volume ratio of 6 to 1. These two images represent multicellular organisms. These are organisms made up of many cells. The surface area to volume ratio for this one is 3 to 1, and for this organism it's 2 to 1. As we move from left to right, the surface area to volume ratio is decreasing, so how does this affect the rate of diffusion? The greater the surface area to volume ratio, the faster the rate of diffusion. Therefore, the rate of diffusion decreases as we move from our single-celled organism to this multicellular organism. For your exam, you need to know that single-celled organisms have a relatively large surface area to volume ratio. Can you have a think about why this relatively large surface area to volume ratio is important for single-celled organisms? The relatively large surface area to volume ratio of single-celled organisms is important for diffusion. This simple diagram shows a single-celled organism. This relies on the simple diffusion of oxygen into the cell and the waste product carbon dioxide out of the cell. By having a relatively large surface area to volume ratio, this allows sufficient transport of molecules into and out of the cell by diffusion to meet its needs. This process of diffusion needs to be fast to keep up with the metabolic demands of the cell and to get rid of any waste that's produced. For your exam, you need to be able to explain why single-celled organisms can rely on diffusion. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.